Hey there, this is Adrienne Brown, the Homeschool Mom of Eight, and I'm coming here today to talk to you about teaching your young ones to read. Now grab yourself something to drink and join me, okay? <laughs> I love tea. Um, some of the tools that I used when I first started. Let me show you. First of all, I always had cards to teach them the different sound letter sounds. I mean, and this is basically what you would call phonics, right? <clears throat> These cards are um, mini flashcards that have the alphabet on them and a, pic a reference picture to help the child to know what the sound, because most of the time the child know what this eye picture is, right? And because they know what that picture is, they are used to already, they're already saying the sound. They just don't know how to put the sound to the letter. So that's what your your job is, to help them to do that, to put to tie the two together. And sometimes, wait a minute. And sometimes, um, you know, I use a backup. That's my main curriculum. It hasn't always been like that, but once I got to teaching, um, you know, I have eight kids. I've been teaching for like 26 years. I'm on my second group of children, homeschooling them. But on my first group, I really didn't know what I was doing. So I just got Rebecca and they walk you step by step. So I just used those and I had great success teaching. I So far, I can say I have taught so far five children to read from the beginning to um, the end, right? Until they learned how to read. Because the other ones, <clears throat> they are, I didn't really have to teach them because, you know, I adopted four kids. But anyway, so let's go back to that. I use these cards. These are phonics cards. And it has the different alphabet on there. Look at that. And you can get, you don't necessarily have to get these from, from a Becca. You can buy cards like this from the dollar store, which is what I did. In some cases, you can get them where they have what letters like this let me show you word blends <laughs> you got your x-ray there you see your x-ray fox x is at the end of that that sound you see you can get these i think i bought these from like either walmart or the dollar store i can't remember but these little simple cards can help you teach your child how to sound a let a word out and once they learn that, they can basically, that is the key to unlock any door. And in addition to that, because I wanted to, I was sort of a, I'm sort of a, um, I wanna be thorough when it comes to teaching my kids to learn anything. So I used all sorts of tools, anything that I could put my hands on. And here's another, look, basic funny charts. This is also from a backup, but look how they start off. The very first one, you start off with all the alphabet again. They have reference vectors. You go through these with your kids every day, with your child, every day saying them until they start to memorize them and then they can do them without you giving them any prompts. Look at that. Then you should teach them the vowels and the, the um, sounds of vowels. And then you even start to teach them how to match them up with the cursive letter, which I love that about Rebecca. And here we go. Oh, that one might be a little hard. That's what these are blends and beginning sounds, but <clears throat> you will, the, your child will eventually advance to that. Learns, once your child learns the different sounds, then you start teaching them to do what are called lad ladders. You see that? They learn the vowel, they put it with a consonant, and they start to say beginning sounds. You will be amazed how well this technique has worked for me. And then on a daily basis, you can say these sounds yourself to your child. Look at that. And you say the sound, show them the blend, keep showing it to them until they know it instantaneously instantaneously and you don't even have to worry once they learn these blends they will be able to unlock any book and because I always like to make sure that my child is retaining what they are learning 
from our main curriculum, I go to another source. And in this particular case, I turn to what's called hook, Hooked on Phonics. Now this is an old, I know it's an old pro. Now these cards right here, they, you know, you have the letter there, you have the sound, that's why you have that ear. You have the reference, you have a reference picture there. It's different from the ones that Abeka used, but it's still the same idea. And you give the child a word. And once you they learn that, what you will do, you'll see on the other side of these hooked on funny cards, they have the same letter and the sound, but they don't have the reference picture or the reference, reference word anymore. So this is helping the child to maintain and retain what they have learned. And they will test if they are actually doing that. I loved Hooked on Phonics. Hooked on Phonics comes with a, um, well, when I bought it, it came with a tape. Of course they had cassette tapes, they don't have it anymore. But when I use it, I use cassette tapes and not only cassette tapes, um, it also has a little booklet where the kids can write the letters down and match them with the sound and the reference, word, reference words. Anyway, these are some of the easy techniques that you can use to help your young ones learn how to read. This is, I'm talking about before, um, you know, you can even start in kindergarten. I started my children off very early, just letting them look at the cards. I would give them the cards and let them just look at them until they get familiar with what the picture is actually is. And you, it will, it worked wonders. And let me also tell you that if you have a difficult reader, if you have a child who has a problem with um, connecting the sound in their in their mind with their tongue, and um, there's a there's a word that my because I had a child that had to have, to have that had to have speech therapy because they had a problem with connecting the sound in their brain with and the, making their tongue actually pronounce that sound but even if you have a child that has that's hard of eating like that that's hard um, of learning and have that problem you can still teach them to read it will take them a little longer which is okay it doesn't matter that um, they don't have to you don't have to rush them to read you just need to make sure they learn how to read and these are the little two simple little tools that you can use some of these things you can make yourself you don't even have to pay you don't even have to go out and buy them but i did it for convenience but you can create these things yourself and it's more about persistence and consistency you just take your time and it will be difficult. You guys will have hard days sometimes, but that's okay. You keep doing it anyway. Some days I remember getting so frustrated because I had to say something which seemed it's over and over again, which seems like a hundred times, excuse me, but, but I kept doing it anyway. And now my child reads books all of the time. Just when I thought that, oh, it was going to take forever. It did not. That child is reading perfectly. Mm. So, if you have a child that you are trying to teach how to read, don't forget, get these type of cards and make sure you have, you find a reference book and a CD that goes with them. And you can even go online and find these things, I'm sure. And have them listen to it or you say it over and over and over and over again until it is in their heads so that's how i taught i have taught all of my children to read and they are excellent readers they love reading they always have their eyes and noses in books they don't hate reading they love reading why well, i saw that yeah i did <gasps> pop yeah. very good now you have to mark mark the vowels in these words remember the first vowel says his name, and the second vowel is silent. Okay. Um. You have to mark the vowel out. This? Yeah, that's the second vowel, right? So what does I mark it as long, remember, it says his name. If it said, what is it, what's the name of that letter? I just told you. Rat? No, no, the vowel. It's, what letter is that? Mm. He likes, she likes. 
he likes the lion. She likes the lion. He likes the light. She likes the light. He likes the ladder. She likes the ladder. He, he, and she like to laugh and laugh. The end. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Um. Look. Heh. Help <laughs> me, mother. Mm -hmm. Will you help me do? Um. Special sound is star. Dino in Disneyland. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were so excited to be at Disneyland, they all chatted at once. Come on, Uncle Donald, have you got tickets? Please hurry up. Donald just being very pleased with himself about the tree he was giving his nephews. The first thing the boys wanted to do was to but eventually, they all settled on spots they liked. Did you hear that pot boiled over? Yeah, he was really steamed. Izzy and her friends loved their new spots on the table, but Izzy's parents didn't understand. Little girls sit on chairs, said Dad. Back to your proper spots now, said Mom. Everyone went back to their old places. Nobody was happy, but Dish and Spoon were especially sour. They had really liked being next to each other, dishing out the latest scoop. So, Dish ran away with Spoon. Once again, my name is Adrian Brown, and if you like what I have said, and if you're watching this on Instagram, click the link above to get to my link tree and get to all the different resources that I have. If you're watching this on YouTube, give me a like down there <laughs> and share this with somebody. Okay, you have a good day and I hope this helps you in a good way. My name is Adrienne Brown. I'm the homeschool mom of eight. Thank you. Bye.